issuing a new room code, so please stand by as we issue <coughs> new room code. All right. And uh, Mr. Smith says, nice, one cool gamer. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let me, are you always cold? All right, here we go. Now we have, uh, let's see, we have uh, the room code about to be distributed right now, uh, and we are now going to test that room code. All right, so let's get that set up and in there, and let's make sure that it works. And it does. We are about to reveal the room code to our chat, so let us do that now. Okay. All right, let's see. That's not working. All right, we're going to make, make sure this happens. A lot of technical problems tonight. We do want to <laughs> thank you for bearing with us as we, you know, as we endeavor to keep it going. All right, so now the room Dang you, Twitch! is going to be T U There's a room code if you want to join <clears throat> OX that's uh let's see Tango Utah Oregon uh let's see and, and maybe maybe xylophone we can do it that way or Xavier well, yeah, let's, let's do Xavier all right we got cool gamer joining us we've got Rick joining us we've got Q and Pete joining us we've got Mr. Stewie we have room for three other players if anybody would like to get in on us if you don't make it in on time you can join me. in uh, as a member of our audience and right now we're going to get our audience participation panel set up here so we stand by now we get that in there all right we're putting in the room code T U x right now all right so if you'd like to play along either from from our chat you'll find a link at the, the top of the chat if you're on a on the mobile app by clicking on the jackbox icon at the top of the chat otherwise you will see a box a jackbox icon on your screen you can tap or click that to join hey, in goblin. all right everybody we have one member in the, our audience ready to go <laughs> and we have eight players so we're about to get started everybody and uh cool gamer says tuesday under our xylophone we've also got first time in the chat we have Josephine Medina. Welcome aboard, Josephine. Thanks for thanks for joining us. All right, everybody, we're gonna get ready to start. Here we go, everybody. Yeah, and I now, see. I'm <laughs> over to Schmidt. In three, in two, in one, and here we go. Almost looks like Markiplier, to be honest. <laughs> that icon. Hey, hey, I'm Schmidt, and I completely forgot what I'm doing here. Oh, Quiplash, right, Quiplash. Why, that's enough for a decent rodeo. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your... All right, we have, let's see. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, everybody. If, hopefully, you've got your answers in. Right now, we, I've got my answers in. We got Cuban Pete's answers are in. We've got Josephine's answers are in. We've also Tuxedo. got Finn's answers in. Mr. Stewie's answers are in. We're waiting on three other of our players. Make that two because Cool Gamer is in. Now we're waiting on two. You have 32 seconds remaining. Plenty of time. And. Uh, Josephine says, mine is going to be stupid. I don't know, Josephine. You may have found your tribe. You may have found your people. You never know how it's going to play. So we'll find <laughs> out. All right. We've also got Rick coming in here. Uh, also, just in time the to nick share. of time. Uh, first, and, and yes, and it's okay, Josephine, if, if the answers don't like if people didn't vote for them. Hair. It's a little pressure kind of thing. All right. And okay, let's see. Pick your favorite and greatest part of having <laughs> lots and lots of back hair is one during the winter or eel. Just you. No, not going to do it. Oh, there gross. we are, everybody. <laughs> so pick your answer that you like, one that made you smile, made, made you laugh, maybe you just Are there you, any other like people the in the better. audience uh, in the chat? We, you know, and you can vote on your fellow players unless this was your answer. Not uh, funny, Goblin. You are a member of our participating audience, whether it's <laughs> the, you know, the, the, the browser. There we go. We got the results in now. Okay, and the answer goes to... It looks like we have a tie between myself and Cool Gamer. Well done. <laughs> High five across the mile, school gamer. Well done. There's a secret monument in the Washington Mall called the Blank Monument. There is? Mm -hmm. The Steve Monument? To vote. He never told me anything about that. <laughs> or the Selfie Monument. Now, your fellow players, if this is one of your answers, will now be able to little, vote as will I was expecting a tie. A Steve and a Steve Everybody. or so a Selfie see. and a Selfie. <laughs> We're going to be getting our results in about 12 seconds. All right. Can you imagine that? Like, you know, like a, a C 
secret monument. Squirrel. And it's like, it, you know, if it, if it was Steve's, I mean, it would make sense to be small. People don't really notice it, but other squirrels do. And I'm like, yeah, that's Steve. He made good. All right, everybody. And it looks like the answer is going to Rick, apparently, with six to two, with 75% of the vote. Well done, Rick. Next on deck, money. the next big craze for yuppies, bottled blank. The next big craze for yuppies, bottled beeswax or bottled white claw, everybody. Oh, boy. I, I, I one of them like is good, but I don't know which. I'm just going to pick one. <laughs> beeswax, though. Like, yeah, you, know, you turn the bottle upside down and get nothing unless you heat it up. You know, maybe we'll sell, like, bottle warmers in the gift shop. Maybe that'll be the next big thing. Maybe we could do that. What uh, is a yuppie? Rick asked, what's yuppies? Okay, well, uh, once upon a time, there was a thing called hippies. They were they were free and they liked flowers. And they beget the yuppies. Uh, some thought it stood for young urban professionals. Uh, and then they beget... It, it, it's a long, complicated story. I wouldn't even worry about it. But apparently... All right, Barney the answer goes to Fidget. Well dinosaur. done. Next in line... <laughs> What's the real reason the Phantom of the Opera is so moody? Hey, Mr. Sui says, first one's a candle, devoted. which you can get at your nearest chandlery. So we saw earlier. All right, what's the reason for the uh, the Phantom of the Opera is so moody? The broken mask and just can't so, I mean, where do you get a mask like that even fixed? All right, uh, let's see. Or that Raven Hall VR is a better singer. I don't, you know, I, I don't do the public singing, but thank you. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that very much. All right, <clears throat> well, I, well, I do play guitar, though. I'm willing to do that in public, but I, I generally don't what? sing in public. I'm told I have a good voice, though, but I, I, I don't exercise it that way. All right, we've got Josephine with four, and then now going to five, and Mr. Stewie with two. Yes! Josephine takes the win. <laughs> well done. And you said your answers weren't going to work, <laughs> but they did, apparently. Next one, the perfect thing to say to get rid of door-to-door -door solicitors. The perfect thing to say to get rid of door-to-door -door solicitors. Vote on your devices. We've got I'm a cannibal. Or go away. Can you imagine that? Like, you know, you're going door to door, Ew. right? And you're like, hey, I've got these encyclopedias. I know nobody uses if them I got anymore, any but answers, I'm trying to unload them. Uh, and the, troll the door Cody just like bursts open. And the person goes, I'm a cannibal. Like, can you imagine that? Or, 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 you know, maybe it swings open and the other person goes, go away. Like, and you're like, uh, I just want to sell these um, these things. And you're like, go away. But they're genuine or widgets. Go away, uh, goblin. No, no, not happening. All right, apparently. The win is going to go to, it looks like close, but it went to Cool Gamer. All right, well done, Cool Gamer. I know, All right. right. Rick says those answers are awesome. Next up, well done. the title of a video game that would have been huge in the 1800s. The title of a video game that would have been huge in the 1800s. Vote away. I, let's see, we have Red Dead Redemption Now or Hangman. All right, everybody, so go ahead and get your votes in. If you are one of the people that answered this, you will have to sit back and wait the judgment from your fellow players and, right now, two members of our audience. All right, everybody, get those votes in. You have nine seconds remaining. If you're joining us late, you will be able to participate in the voting by clicking on the Jackbox icon on your screen or at the top of your chat. All right, and the win is going to go to... Looks like it's going to be me, I think. I am, yes. And, and, and over fidget. There we go. All right. Red, Rede Red Dead Robert. Redemption, really? The title of a <clears throat> movie for elephants. The ti oh, oh I'm, I'm a little concerned about this one. Okay. All right, we've got <laughs> all front and trunks or Dumbo in the long trunk, everybody. And see, it's amazing how you both went there. Now, normally, oh, hello, normally I say when we have similar answers... Normally, I say like that. You know, shows like togetherness. It shows that you know uh, that you know there are people out there that are like you. That you're not alone. But in this case, I think it, it basically like I, I, it's kind of obvious. I'm just saying, possibly, possibly, maybe. All right, let's see. And one's copyright infringement, so there you go. All right, and but it looks like the answer is go. It's close between Rick and Stewie, but it looks like it's going Stewie. Well done. All right. Actually, no. Wait. Oh, was that a tie? I believe it was. I believe it was a tie. A good sign that you accidentally married a duck. Oh no. He's a it's quack. It's voting time. Or you're despicable. And uh, right now, I'm really wishing I could do the voice. I <laughs> wish I could. You know, I, I really do. Or have that sound bite ready to go. All right, everybody. He's a quack. Or you're despicable. Good answers both. We've got one member of our audience, two members of our audience that have voted. And now three members of our audience have voted, and your fellow chatters are voting, and they're casting their judgment upon you. Let's find out which answer. Oh, it's okay. Maybe you can. Morgan's laughing at these know. answers. Uh, and from Brazenwood and Josephine, well done. And it's pretty close. And it's gonna Ooh. go. Uh, 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 oh, we have another tie. <laughs> I, 
I had two ties twice in a row? I don't know if that's ever happened that's before. Very cool. One, let's bring up the scoreboard. I'm All right, third. Two, where all and if you guys are still want to join in the audience, the code is right here. All right, everybody, get your answers in Dude. right now. All right, we are now going to be getting our answers in. We have plenty of time, 85 seconds, get them in. And I'm going to take a moment to get mine in. Double T. If you still want to be in the audience, there we can. All right, everybody. Join in the... We have five members of our audience waiting to stand in judgment upon you. We have 42 seconds remaining. We have answers in by Raymond, myself. We've got Rick. We've got Cool Gamer. We've got the Cuban Peach. We've got Josephine. We've got Brazenwood. And Mr. Stewie just came in. We're waiting on one other player. We have plenty of time remaining. You have 30 seconds. And five members of our audience waiting to cast judgment upon us all. No pressure, though. No pressure. You have 20 seconds remaining in a totally low pressure situation here, which isn't building at all. You Almost have 15 out of time. seconds left. Committee, I'm trying to explain to. it in a low pressure kind of way. All right, you have 10 seconds remaining. And Josephine says, mine's going to be dumb. I don't know. You did pretty well last round, Josephine. Are you all sure right, about that? Look. First off, more money, more blank. More money, more blank. More better. More, okay, more friends, more money, more favorite. friends, more money, more better. All right, both good answers. All right, if this was your answer, you're not able to vote on yourself. However, you will be able to vote. Uh, your, your fellow players will be able to vote, as will the members of our audience, of which two members, three members, have already <laughs> voted. All right, you have 10 seconds to get those votes <laughs> in, everybody. All right, and Morgan concurs by saying, Bah, you did great last time. And, Are there and any I, mods in my stream? Right, one second remaining. It looks as though it's between Cool Gamer and Brazenwood, and it looks like it's going to go to Cool Gamer with 63% of the road. Well done, Cool Gamer. All right, everyone, here we are. Next on the list, the name of a restaurant that only serves grade D meat. The name of a restaurant that only serves grade D meat. We have <laughs> the meat is one, uh, which is very <clears throat> clever because you're kind of masking it, like you may not become apparent that that's, that's not good meat that you're eating, or out of options with a view. All right, so we've got four members of our audience who have casted their judgment upon you, and your fellow players will also be able to vote for each answer they like the best. We'll be seeing the results in a matter of five seconds, everybody. Make that three seconds, and here we go. Looks like it's going to Rick with the meat. Whoa! 80%. I, I don't know, Rick, it seems Rick like false did. advertising the meat. Big teal. That's what I'm thinking. Sneaky. Sneaky business. Line, go ahead, make my blank. Go ahead, make my prime Ready, delivery. Set. Big teal. Or go ahead, make my <laughs> big teal e uh, tutti frutti. And, you know, in that scene, I imagine they're in some kind of like, you know, um, you know some kind of maybe an ice cream shop. You know, possibly Good something deal like that. E. Shop, <laughs> What's and, your uh, reaction? Maybe it's, maybe it's the day where, you know, all things come together and the person finally snaps. And, you know, maybe that's the whole premise of the movie right there, right in the trail. And now you don't even need to see it. Now you don't even need to see it. All right, here we go. The I did. Is... <laughs> it looks like it's pretty close, actually. But it's going 6-3 to three to be in favor of Cuban Pete. <laughs> well done, Cuban Pete. Gotcha, big T-O-E. <laughs> okay, next one. A weird thing <clears throat> left-handers are better at. Okay. And vote. A weird Ew, skill left-handers the right are one's better nasty. at. Steering while changing gears. I guess it depends on which side of the uh, the, the car or the vehicle that they <laughs> happens to be in front of. But yeah, I can see that. And uh, let's see, right. Uh, okay, well, I'm not saying that on the air. I endeavor to keep it classy in all the ways. Uh, but, you, but for those of you... And it's a good thing Cora Admire isn't here, because I would have trolled her so badly. 
I refuse. Fidget. All right, and we have, let's see, Mrs. Dewey getting, it looks like, crowd support, six to three. All right, everybody. Yeah, and I'm wondering if Fidget just hit the quick answer, is, and it's not like all mortified God, going, oh, no, they think like... I typed that? All right, all right. Well, Cuban's yeah, laughing so hard. All right, be careful, Cuban Pete. Don't laugh too hard. We don't want anyone to experience an injury. What God probably smells like, everyone. Miracles. <laughs> what do miracles smell like? Or, <laughs> you know, like might be that, you know, that a deity could possibly smell of purple. You know, or maybe, you know, lavender infused jasmine, as we experience when we go up into the higher realms of words on stream every Wednesday and Saturday, you know, here on our Twitch channel. All right, everybody, the results are in, and it looks like it's going to go to possibly, maybe, it's going to go to Rick, 7 to 1 over Cool Gamer, where we learn the almighty smells of purple. Everybody, you have been crushed. All right, everybody, here we are. And next, the most Purple inappropriate guy. <laughs> song to be air drumming to. All right. The most inappropriate song oh, to be air drumming to is Let's Get Physical or The Song of Durin. All right. Both I can see that as looking quite At odd. least it's not Baby yeah, Shark so or I, I The Scuttlebar because... You know, I, I, I just don't think that like a drum soul necessarily belongs there. It just doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just not there. All right. So that's just a tough one. All right, but which one would be the most inappropriate is what you're being asked. We have four members of our audience waiting to catch judgment, and here we go. Let's see. So it's down to me and Brazenwood, and it looks like it, it's pretty even. So I vote six to four, 68 percent. There we go. Moving on. All right, we also have, first time in the chat, Pumpkins0085. Welcome aboard, Pumpkins. Thanks for joining us. We have the name of a male strip shop with really out of shape guys. Oh, no, Full Monty, which is, like, not our judgment of the movie. I'm just saying. And now I feel bad. You know, the actors are probably, like, maybe they're tuning in going, wait, I was in that. Oh, no. And then we're good and fluffy, everyone. Good and fluffy. You know, all right, there we go. Join me tonight at good and fluffy. Where we, no, that's just not going to work. It's just, it's just not working, everyone. All right. But, yeah, apparently. Hey, why would you want to go and see that? Okay, well, there we are. Well, that came from Mrs. Stewie and Cute and Pete. And it looks as though the answer winner is going to go to, it's 5-4 to four in favor of Mr. Stewie with 58%. Or am I might be 56. It went by fast, everybody. It was close, okay? All right, everyone, here we go. Moving on. An automobile feature only the French would have. Uh-oh. This, this might spark an international incident, oh, but an automobile devices. feature only the French would have. We have a brown butter perfume dispenser or Thunder Bella 5000, everybody. All right. So hopefully nobody in our audience is offended. <coughs> All right. I didn't have any questions. I just, I, I was sitting there like announcing it. I did, they said it would be a good idea. Oh, no. Damage control stations, everybody. All right. We've got four members in our audience who have their answers in, their votes in. And we're going to let this scroll off the screen in one second, everybody. And our winner between Fidget or Josephine. And it goes to... Well, it looks close, actually. Ooh. Five to three in favor of Fidget. Well done. Congratulations, Fidget. <coughs> now we're moving on from this point. Here we are. Just, uh, now says, two is this round is one no or two? Let's it's round two. Damage. All right, everybody. It looks as though right now ah. Rick is in first place. No. Called by Mr. Stewie. Now this we're is doing round three. three. The last flash. One final chance to catch up, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. This is my favorite one. I like that we're all asked the same question. I think it's cool. The voting can get Here's a little bit comic. weird, but it, it's good. Now, we have a comic here. If your screen is too small, I'm going to try to attempt to translate this. You have to, it appears to be two military people, and one of them is holding up what looks to be a model of a ship, and he says to the other guy, uh, this costs $35 million. What's so special about it? All right? And, uh, and now the answer, you put your best answer in right now. You have 41 seconds to get that in. Oh, done. Okay. All right, I got my answer in. Josephine got Josephine's answer in. We were waiting on, uh, we just got Mr. Stewie in. We're waiting on, let's see, we've also got Cube and Pete in. And now we got Cool Gamer in. We're waiting on three other players. We have six members in our audience ready to cast their judgment upon you. We've got Rick is now in. We're waiting on two know. players. We have 14 seconds remaining. We've got Fidget let's in. And we're results. waiting on one more player. In a dramatic countdown as we count six, five, 
five, four, no pressure, but some, three, two, mounting pressure, one. And we're ready to go. All right, here we go, everybody. We are ready to Honestly, look? I would say for an answer, it medals. is collection. Uh, it is a collections edition, sir. That's a good answer, Pump. I like that. You know what? Feel free after the question is asked. Well, you know, like once the answers are all in, uh, going forward, like we you know next week when we get together, just well, you know, I think it could be fun to see what people come up with. All right, click any order of preference. So, like to your first one, click choose that one first. Your second and third, then after thereafter. All right, let's see. Uh, okay. Let's see. And we also have, let's see, Pumpkin now following. Thanks so much. We appreciate that. We appreciate the support. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see. Goblet. Uh, you know, these are all good answers. This is tough. Goblet, have you watched Doctor Who? Okay. All right, everybody. My answers are, my vote's in, but I have to say it was very tough to choose between them. They were all good. All right. And Morgan says, audience only gets one pick. So tough. Oh, spells. really? I didn't know that, Morgan. Show me the silver. You only get to pick on and one? gold. Oh, wow. All right, let's turn that into cold, hard points. Let's see. How everyone did. Rick got 500, 1,500 to Cool Gamer and myself. Josephine got 2,500, as did Mr. Stewie. 3,000 to Cuban Pete. 3,500 to Brazenwood. And 4,000 to Fidget. Well done. But it is a fun size. All right, everybody. It's over. Let's see the final score. Yes, let's see who won. Uh -huh. And it looks like Fidget's our winner, everybody. We're going to have 100 clams dispatched via secure courier to Fidget's location to issue the 100 clams. Uh, and the most popular answer tonight was from our own Rick with purple as being, uh, you know, possibly what the almighty might smell like. Purple, everybody. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go on to the next game. Anyone else wanna join? You could go to jackbox.tv and go enter the code. Shadow Wolf, okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Schmitty here. I'm thinking of a game that starts with a Q. That's right, Quinopoly. Anyway, <laughs> back to this. Hey, good looking room. Which the people one in it could use a little work, but the room is gorgeous. And remember, audience members can join the game at any time by entering the room code. Audience votes count too, you know. Yay. This is round one. You'll see two prompts and <laughs> answer them any way you want. Each answer will go up against someone else's answer, and everyone will vote on which they like most. It's simple. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Okay. Yo, could have been this one. <laughs> if one of you sees my prompt, I am so sorry. Big deal, are you the N, the E? Yay. All right, 
let's get to it. Number one on the list, a bad lawyer's opening statement to the jury. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. <laughs> Whoever spelled client wrong got a slip up. It's a tie. <laughs> Your next prompt is a terrible drill sergeant would be constantly yelling blank. Get to voting. <laughs> hey, black, black, do it again. I don't know if I have been told black. Come, what's with the black? Is that the Juneteenth? <laughs> <laughs> Next on the list, a rejected song from the musical Oklahoma. Ready, set, vote. <laughs> Baby shark. I'm a Barbie girl in Smexy Barbie world. <laughs> oh, me and Goblin tied. <laughs> I have no idea. Next That's one. The title of a nude portrait of your dad. Ew. It's voting nope, time. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not voting either. Ew, ew. <laughs> I think after this prompt, I'm gonna do a poll in regarding of the Let's Play Jackbox series. Some liquids appear when shower. Big chill E twerking. <laughs> gotcha, big chill <tea> E. <laughs> Because I can. The only bad word that can follow bacon. Vote now. Obesity, get some frag and bacon and smack it. Hey, yo! Really? Cockroach, skippy, skittippy toilet. Ugh. I can't even speak. Sorry, goblin. <laughs> and next, why you're not allowed back at Jurassic Park. Hey, yo, those two are dirty. I ain't voting either of those. Nice day.
That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. <laughs> what do you say, guys? Holy grail of big teal E's. <laughs> In most of my stream yards, I would just pick a one person to randomly troll <laughs> in the call. Like, for example, on my birthday stream, I had trolled Cora so bad. She was, like, raging so much in tears. And my parents are home. Babysitter. Vote on your devices. <laughs> they complain their butts hurt. I clearly sound babies. Cool, boy. Watch his big teal ease videos. Dress shirt sure need washing. Okay, bye, goblin.
Mission for the Greyhound Bus Company. Hello, Larry. Busy work for my sister. <laughs> seat of a cop car. Ready, set, vote. Oh, no. Hey, yo. That right one. My eyes. The time. Up next, the next way airlines will probably try to save money, blank. Put in your votes. <laughs> Big Tilly is going to be so mad. speech would be, ladies and gentlemen, I blank. Vote on your devices. Scuba mishap may be drunk. <clears throat> At least they ain't too dirty. It's round three, the last lash. Look alive because you're all getting the same prompt this time. Comic lash. Complete the comic. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know, but what did you think of my prompts? <laughs> While we're waiting, let's see what other games.
Let's see where those medals ended up. Bronze. Show me the silver. And finally, gold. Let's melt those medals down for points. Are you serious? Nice. We're near the end of the game, and I'll That's see. The end. Let's see the final scoreboard. Let me win. Let's play this. C R D A is the room code. This is a room code if you guys want to join. All I can say, Ark, is throw your phone into a lake and hope that that solves the problem. Mm. I do not do well with technology. Bad kid, welcome, buddy. One more and we will get the show on the road. Oh, sorry that about that. Sorry about that, Mal. Yeah, yep, you got it right. I forgot to wash my hands and I got a little... A little spicy for Jake. A little spicy, like I got a little randy. I forgot. I love that uh, every once in a while. I'm like, oh, it's hot down there. You get something in my eye after working with food. Yeah. And you're just like, yep, get the Jake. I got some... I got some spice down there. Got some spice. Spicy girl. I have a spicy girl. <coughs> B, you never worry about that at all, my friend. Hey, Smoke, what's up, bud? Well, Twitch users can be a bit sensitive for people joining oh, in man. the yeah, Jackbox yeah. games <laughs> without Twitch accounts. Jalopussy! <coughs> God! <laughs> yes, it is. All right, all ten more seconds. We're just gonna start this one with seven. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll get more players as the night goes on. We screwed up the entire start of the stream, so that's on me. Sorry about that, everyone. All right, Zanny, are you ready? I am ready. I am also. Oh well, yeah, get your ring. Well, let's see, um, Big Teal. All right. you. There's other. So sorry about that, everyone. That sorry. was messed up. Two more people. Do it live. Do it alive. It's everyone's favorite. I am the leader. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think we got it. Hey, Atlas, what's up, dude? Yo. We got it. All right, we're in. Smoke super easy. You go to Jackbox.tv. It's gonna have you sign in through Twitch. That's a troll prevention. 
And then you'll be able to put in the room code. Here we go. <laughs> this time I'll make sure my top hat isn't blocking the room code. Mm. How you play? You gotta uh, play on your phone or a browser. Oh, Atlas. Oh, Atlas. Uh -huh. <coughs> <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Oh, That's no. Amazing. I lost count. <laughs> oh boy. Spooky trivia game. Ooh. It's hard. I don't know that number. I barely played Trivial Pursuit when I was a kid. Like, it was on its way out uh, when we were. You know, Ray Fox, hurry. Cards, six questions per card, so that made the most sense to me. Oh, that's good. Good one. Me too. I know, right? Matt is live. Ooh, showers. Oh, skewers. <laughs> hydrate. Oh, hydrate. <laughs> yeah, give me that water. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, you hid inside me hydrating. What happened? Armored oh. Owl, thank you, hon. Thank you. You get a near wiggle. Oh, mm -hmm. Shake your head. Shake your head out, Clyde. There. Every subscribe, every sub gets a wiggle. Every sub you gets a wiggle. Dead. Every sub gets a wiggle. Uh, we're gonna break our neck. That's right. Can't wait to write that off. Medical expense from headbang. We we headbang for our, for money. We had bang so we can pay taxes. <laughs> oh, so much murder! Yo, all the murder! Melbourne, Queen Drags! What happened? Whoops. <laughs> See, and that's why you never hide. You push straight through. <laughs> hey, Dingo. Hey, yo. What's up? Oh, I adore you guys. All right. This is tricky. Everyone, this one's a hard one. Oh, oh green drink on ice cream. Melbourne, stop those hauntings. Oh, pizza. Ah. Oh, pizza the moment. Oh. I'll even run in and turn on the oven. Whoa. Or do you want pizza burgers? That sounds good too. Late night pizza burgers. Ooh, Atlas. All right, here we go. Oof. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> we love Italian ice. Oh, Atlas 
Yes, when I make those things, they do not last. <laughs> Sorry. Gray Foxen, you're living the American dream. Ah. <laughs> It's called being a billionaire. I think I know this. That's what happens when you challenge the dragon in the battle of wins. Yeah. Oh, great boxing. You still get hugs. Even ghosts get hugs. Also, you explode. I'm a red crew. No, you are. guessing. <coughs> ha ha cheese.
Oh, you missed it. I died at the greed. Oh, Mr. Popper's penguins, please be right. What? Oh, I don't like those two. Switch bitch, was that actually a fucking one? Switch bitch was it. Switch bitch. Oh. Fuck. I'm out of time. Yes. Anyone know the math? <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, Anne's been blind for a week. We. No. Still in it, right? No. Yeah, I'm a great fucking hell. It's how it's not so Okay, what's with the Ike? Yeah, but without their contacts, that's genuinely a Yeah. Oof. Oh, I like the wavelength. No, it's it's scary. Oh, yeah. Jeez, that's hard. Oh, I know this. Easy. All right. 
That's it. All right, everyone, we are going to go over to Weezer. Uh, Peter Davidson. I'm not Pete because it's 11 a.m. I like Stacy in the big sleepover. Celine, I know somehow you're grinning over there because they said a certain name. How do you do a dirty though? <laughs> I was more expecting somebody to do Gaston in the beast. Oh, 
Thirty nine for wedding? What the fuck is with the wedding ring? <laughs> Even I don't remember. And yes, Mad McThunder is live. Somehow I got disconnected. <laughs> oh, there's earwax. GVGZ is a code. Now, here's what's 
what's gonna happen. You're gonna get six sound effects on your device. One of you will be the judge who will pick a prompt to play. The rest of you, you choose two sound effects that you think go best with that prompt. Once all sound effects are in, the judge will choose a winner. Be the first to get three points and you win. Auto any host new players is now can join the audience at any time, mind you, game. by just entering in the room code on screen. Be a joint, shall we? And the judge is... Select your prompt. The prompt. All birthday cards should make this sound when you open them. Choose those sounds wisely. All birthday cards should make this sound when you open them. chosen are to pick Blue Dragon Cody's favorite Our game. Will be the line at the post office. Hmm. Time to choose your sounds. The line at the post office. G. 
<laughs> this player received the most likes, but I like you all equally. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> player one fails. <laughs> Admin launch next game. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Well, happy juices, the 24-7 stream. Shell Corporation up to no good? <laughs> we'll never tell. Apple, Org, Highway, Telephone, Democracy, Binge Pipe. We're just another thing. Don't worry. Maybe this game. For the for the last one until I end the stream. What was that? <laughs> is weakness. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I have all ten of my fingers, all ten of my toes, and all ten of my teeth. Eight players, huh? So I guess it wasn't a waste of time for our art team to learn to draw the number eight. 
Timeshare presentations go on forever. What would be the most common visitor review of the Hotel Transylvania if it also happened to be the most common blood type in the world? A positive. Feel like I died and went to Hampton. A negative. Great, but halls blocked by spooky twins. B negative. The staff kept ghosting me. Or O positive. Confused by the rating system. Oh, copyright music. So who got it? I'm positive that you're wrong. <laughs> this answer will be wrong forever and ever and ever. <laughs> well over one third of the population has O positive blood, making it the most common on the planet. Auto host Here's is now like accepting Twitch redeems for our next game. For now. Your roommate, who is a ballerina, says she's late and has to jete the hell out of here. How does she leave the apartment? Leaps with one leg leading, breaking the door and your rental agreement. Rotates on one leg, spinning until she drills through the floor. Rapidly taps the floor with one foot, summoning mice to carry her. Or lifted by her partner, who isn't paying rent, but acts like he owns the place. What is this? Cinderella the ballet version? Who would you pick? Why don't I save you all the embarrassment? Yep, that sure sounds like a jeté to me. <laughs> they don't just call it a one-leg leading leap beats me. Next, Captain Muffin Top. Sounds like a diss or dat. Oh no. I'm gonna read oh, off seven oh. things. And for each one, tell me if it's a body-shaping undergarment from Spanx or a character from the Captain Underpants book series. Answer quick. You'll only have a few seconds to choose between Spanx or Captain Underpants. And you're all doing this together, so oh, no. look alive. Okay, let's do it. Slim Cognito. Bridges. Yeah. cha cha. <laughs> One, two, bra cha cha. Three, four, bra. Undetectable. Whoa. Whoa. Great granny girdle. I don't know. <laughs> A, a human pyramid of failure, but player seven, you really dropped the ball. Binge Pipe would like to improve your player experience. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Using a screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety. Guess you need to be somewhere, is that it? Yes. <laughs> Binge Pipe, your loyal friend that's also a company. It's time for Name Zara Numbers Game. What do you get when you add Octavia Spencer to Zachary Quinto, then multiply by Demi Lovato? 9, 6.5, 20, or 13.5? Oh, this'll be good. Phew. Seven unleashed that screw. Get ready to squint. Okay, who chose what? Nine! 
Octavia is derived from 8, and Quinto comes from 5, so 8 plus 5 is 13. Then multiply by Demi, which means half. 13 times half is 6.5. Yes! This also adds up to a buddy comedy that I would pay to see. Nice use of the screw player, Seven. Here's your extra cash. There is no hiding from... Mythed it by a mile. If John Legend only sang Greek legends, which of his songs would be describing the quest of Prometheus? Wake up, everybody. Made to love. Start a fire. Or let's get lifted. What? In a word, that is not the correct answer to this you don't know Jack question. Re Prometheus stole fire. shy about using them. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round it's two the is ads. double. In case you care about things like that. It's like the first round didn't even matter. <laughs> Take a good look at I scream, you scream, we all scream because existence is pain. <sighs> What would be the best evidence that I <laughs> fell into a huge spiral organism? last night and ate half a gallon of Ben and Jerry's ice cream in the dark in my underwear? Me? Hypothetically, two empty pints of pistachio, pistachio, four empty pints of urban bourbon, eight So watch out. <laughs> Player three decided to screw. Come to terms with these terms of service. I ain't getting screwed today. shook out. This answer is so wrong, it reminds me of my life choices. Oh, Gretchen. There are eight pints in a gallon, which means four pints in half a gallon. So that's what's currently strewn on the floor next to the couch I've been sleeping on, hypothetically. Nice use of the screw, Player 3. Spend this wisely. We're here to help. Oh, great. Because you enjoy movies that end in weddings between warring families, you might enjoy this historical event. The War of the Roses, the Battle of Hastings, the French Revolution, or the Cold War. like to offer you a chance to gain some <coughs> content while also losing some other content. Would you like a smart question or a stupid question? Choose on your device now.
Here are the votes. You have chosen. Feast your eyes upon this. A stupid question. How do brain work? Maybe cells dividing and coming together? Neuron something something electricity. Atoms lose electrons or gain, I guess. Or, uh, carbon gas exchange? <laughs> I think Cookie has dementia. <laughs> It's our decision <laughs> to vote. <laughs> Coming up. You all ready for this? Look at me go. I'm rolling, yawing, and pitching. What am I? <sighs> a kitten, a cowboy, a softball player, or an airplane? I think I picked the one by mistake. I'm supposed to pick the right answer. <laughs> answer is a train wreck. This answer is well, an buddy. adventure land. Hmm. That joke works better for all the other wrong answers. Come on! Bill Hader was in train wreck, adventure land, and super bad, but he was not in this is the end, so his haters would hate it. But fans of Danny McBride, who I can only assume call themselves McBridesmaids, probably loved it. Oh no. Welcome to the ad Oh, I'll just shut my mouth then. Here's your clue. Oh, brothers, who art thou? I hope you know your famous family's luck. Oh boy.
GG. Well, I'm going to end the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next stream. Bye.